Hi, I'm trainer Troy Smith. And per the request of one of my home clients who wanted to be able to do a workout in her own home, I made this full body home workout. You could do it at home without any exercise equipment. You could use exercise equipment, but you don't need it. And if you travel a lot, you could do it in a hotel room as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what the workout is and then I'm gonna go through and actually demonstrate each exercise so that way you could get ideas to see how you could do it at your own home without any equipment. So if you look at the workout, you see there's one, two, three, four, five different areas. Think of it as like five mini workouts. What we're gonna do is alternate, superset, different exercises on each level as many times as you like. Now what superset means is just means taking two exercises and alternating back and forth. And that's what the symbol here, this S slash S stands for, superset. So on line two, we have push-ups, superset, Dorian rows. So what that means is we'll do push-ups, however many reps you wanna do, and then do Dorian rows. And then go back to push-ups, Dorian rows, push-ups, Dorian rows. So we're supersetting push-ups and Dorian rows. One thing that's great about this workout is that it, you'll get all your major muscle groups. We have chest, back, squats for legs, shoulders, arms, biceps and triceps. We even have calves, hamstrings by straight-legged deadlifts, and our core, so we'll get a resistance training workout. In addition, depending on how fast you superset back and forth, you'll get a cardiovascular workout as well. Jumping jacks I threw in there with arms, a smaller muscle group, kind of get the heart rate, keep it going up high. Now what's great about this workout is that it does not have to take a long time. You can make it very short. You can, you can even just do certain areas, not even do the whole thing. Or on other days, when you have more time, you could do five, six, seven different sets back and forth with level one, then go to level two, spend more time. You could choose, you can make it different every single time. The cool thing is you don't need any equipment. You could do it anywhere. You could do it outside, you could do it in your home. Just be creative. That means anybody could do it. You don't have to, see, no gym. No time, there's no excuses. So let's take a peek right before we go through and I demonstrate all the different exercises. We have jogging, calf raises for your calves, push-ups, and I'm gonna go through different modifications so that everybody could do this. If you have problems with your knees, you can't jump and do jumping jacks, I'll show you different ways that you can do everything. Dorian rows, just a bent over a single arm row, curls for biceps, overhead triceps, back of the arm, jumping jacks, squats, military press or shoulder press overhead for the shoulders, rotational can-cans for your abs, using the floor or a chair, and SLDL, which is a straight-legged deadlift for the hamstrings. Let's get to it. So number one, just start jogging. Jog in place. Keep your arms at 90 degrees, like this way, running back and forth. If you want to run around your house, wave at the neighbors, out the windows, they'll think you're great. <laughs> if you want to make it more intense, run up and down stairs. Now, if you have a hard time jumping up and down, your knees are bad, or I know some people get like vertigo if they move their head too quickly, then just kind of uplift your weight. You don't even have to uplift your weight a lot. You could just keep your weight planted, move your hips back and forth, move your arms like this way. More intense, less intense, uplift the weight, get to the point where you start coming off the ground. Now we're gonna superset jogging with calf raises on the stairs. So for calf raises, you wanna step on a stair where you have just the front balls of your feet are on there. Imagine a diver on the edge of a diving board, just the front balls of his feet, back ones are hanging off, and you go up and down, I'm gonna lower stair. All the way up, all the way down, only by doing calf raises. Imagine going tippy toes, heels to the floor, tippy toes, heels to the floor. Calf raises for the calves, back to jogging. Calf raises, jogging back and forth to you get your heart rate up and you feel content to move on to number two. Push ups and Dorian rows. For push ups, you either do them on the floor, do them on the normal push ups on the floor like this way, or on chairs or a table. I'll show a table here. Put your hands on the table. You want to position yourself so that way when you come down, that your, your sternum mid-chest, that's the part that hits the table. Not by your neck, not by your stomach. Move frontwards, backwards. So that's the part that hits the table, or if you kept going down all the way deep, that would hit the table. Also, remember with your push-ups, don't, don't let your hips sag. Your hips and shoulders should both simultaneously come up as one unit, okay? So table push-ups, floor is the most difficult. Then on chairs, chairs, just get any type of chairs, set them up. Put them against the wall, right down here. Lower to the close you are to the ground. If you're on a little stepper, floor is the hardest. Then a stepper, then chairs, then table. If you needed to, you can go up against a wall and do it against the wall. Next part, Dorian rows, which is a single arm dumbbell row. If you're gonna do left arm, you put your left leg back, right leg forward, split stance, right hand on the, the chair. You want to be chest up, shoulders back, head upright. Pull your elbow up, control down, up, down, right like that. Then you switch sides and do the other side. 
So here I'm using a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, then just look around the house, a toolbox or something that you could use. In fact, here I'll show you some different things that you could use to do your rows. Okay, so number three, biceps and triceps and jumping jacks. Biceps, if you have a band, you can step in a band. Do it this way. If you have little dumbbells, you curl dumbbells. Don't let it stop you if you don't have dumbbells or a band. Grab a bag, put some weight in it, hold on the side, curl up. Grab something. I've grabbed logs outside while we're camping, anything to give some resistance while you're doing curls. Then triceps, if you have a kettlebell laying around, hands overhead, make your arm be vertical, one foot forward, one foot back. It's like you're reaching back to grab the tag off your shirt, push up towards the ceiling, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Again, if you don't have something like a kettlebell, grab a tool thing. You should hope there's nothing in there important. Curl like this way, boom, boom. Grab something, something laying around, stool right here. If it's too high from the ceiling, grab here, right here. Yep, I can feel my triceps on the way down and on the way up and then back. Biceps. See, this is, I'm holding it here. It's extending out, so it's a little bit more weight. Lean back, back and forth. Biceps, triceps. But on this set, we're doing a three, a triple superset. Curls, triceps, jumping jacks. So in between, do some jumping jacks. Core turns to the left or right, and keep going. If you can't jump like this, then alternately put one foot to the side, back and forth. See, I'm not jumping up and down this way or you can make it even smaller. If you can't jump, just move your feet, move your arms, you know. Squats, feet about shoulder width apart, chest upright, weights in the heels. Squat by pushing the butt backwards. Don't have your knees go forward like you're sitting on a chair on a stool, butt back. So therefore it's your legs lowering you down, raising you up. Don't go quite all the way to the top and bring your pelvis forward. Keep it back a little bit. Down, right there you're stopping a fraction shy, but don't pause up and fluidly fall so therefore it's the legs lowering the legs raising your body you want to make it more intense make them plyos to get tired and then resort to just squatting if you're finding you're having a hard time squatting the proper way not having your knees go forward and your back this way instead of that way then go up against a railing or grab a banister in your basement or the edge of furniture and hold on to it so you have guidance and look down make sure that your butt is Going back, your knees aren't going past your toes. Your shins are staying approximately vertical. It'll help you holding on to something. Just don't hold on to it and sit back and hang on to it. Use it as guidance for how you're squatting, but use your, put your mind in your legs and feel your legs assuming the load on the way down and on the way up. If you want to add some more weight, make a goblet squat. Grab something close to your body right by your sternum, elbows down, squat with this. You get tired, dump it, keep going your own body weight. Supersetting squats with military press. Grab two things, put, or even one thing to put over your head. Come down, press up. Now this is, I'm not getting as much height. So actually I bet you if I open this, there, if I open it, it might look kind of funny, but now I'll get clearance to come down further. Don't let anybody see you doing this, but I'm trading my shoulders right there. And you can grab two books, two books. Push them up, hands come down, level with the eyes, no further. Push them all the way up, don't lock out. Stop a fraction shy, down, press up, down, press up. Back to squatting. Whew. Number five, rotational can-cans and straight-legged deadlifts. For the rotational can-cans, it's gonna work our core. Get yourself a chair, put your hand, both hands on the chair, have your shoulders more over your hands so your weight's kind of you know, leaned over on the chair. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna alternately put your foot and kick it on this side, come back to the middle, jump or just switch your weight on your feet, Put your leg, can-can, out to the other side. Now, the whole point of this, you could like go this way, little jump, twist, jump. The key to doing this well is, is not just put your leg this way. Starting out, that's all you could do. Just kick your leg across, keeping your hips facing frontwards, and you'll feel your abs tensing to push your leg across just a little bit, a little bit. I feel my abs with this. You want to go across more, and you could actually 
turn your hips to the side and sit into it and twist your leg back and it gets more intense. So do whatever level you feel comfortable this way, right there, crossing the leg, chair for stability. Make it more intense on the ground. Bring one hand up. So cross this way, that way, that way, this way, that way. Leg goes across, you sit into it and twist. You'll feel your abs up, switch your hands that way, that way, that way. All right? So super sitting with rotational can-cans on the chair or on the floor, straight-legged deadlifts, the last part, SLDLs. So grab a toolbox, grab something, maybe with a handle in the middle. This is the motion here. If you don't have a handle, just grab it on its sides. What you want to be is chest up, shoulders back, feet about four, four or five inches apart, fairly close. Legs are straight but not forcibly locked out. And the first motion is not to lean forward, is to push the butt back. Then the object will descend straight down. Don't have it hanging out here. Hold it closer to your body. Keep your head upright. A lot of people they'll do is they'll go down. That's all hamstrings and glutes. But then they'll like lean further forward using your lower back. It's not the end of the world, but don't do it. You don't need to. It's not beneficial. So right here, working the hamstrings. You can do other things. Some dirty uh, napkins and towels. We needed to right here. Putting a load in. Bust out some. Straight-legged hamstrings, go back to your chair, to your abs, core, back. Grab your object, hamstrings, so superset, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So there you have it, the full body home workout. Let's recap it one more time. The first part, jogging, alternated with calf raises on the stairs. If your heart's content, move on to number two. Push-ups, remember, against a wall, that's the easiest, and then on a table, on, a cha on chairs, or on the floor. From the floor, you put your feet up higher, you can make it harder, have someone sit on you variations, and I don't care how strong you are, you can bench 400 pounds, if you maintain constant tension, it's how you do it. You work the negative, you work the positive, you, anybody can fatigue out. Push-ups, superset with Dorian rows in the back. Push-ups, Dorian rows. Then move on to the third part. Curls, bicep curls, overhead triceps, jumping jacks. Curls, triceps, jacks. Back and forth to your heart's content. Number four, squats, overhead military press. Squats, military press, squats, military press. Then. Rotational can-cans with straight-legged deadlifts, SLDLs. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you tried the workout. Let me know how you, you do with it. Send in your comments or questions if you have anything, any particular questions on a particular exercise or how you want to set it up. I'd love to hear from you. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way all my subsequent videos I send out, you'll get them. I'm Trainer Troy Smith. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, I will play Metallica's Enter Sandman backwards. Oh, wait a minute. That's frontwards. Actually, if you haven't seen it, no affiliation, check out Google uh, Rob Scallion, Enter Sandman backwards. He made an awesome video. It's, it's phenomenal. Check it out. So, thank you. I'm Trainer Troy Smith, and we'll see you in the next video.